Hey y'all, so this is another um, airbrushing tutorial, digital airbrush tutorial. Now, I don't, this is not, I don't design in this program. I use Photoshop, but I do not teach Photoshop. I teach this because it is accessible to all people. So, and Photoshop is a whole different beast. So, there's plenty of videos out there for Photoshop. If you want to scroll YouTube and they'll help you out. I like to teach where everybody can um, join in or learn. So let's go. And it's free. So I have another video up. So if you want to check that one out, you can do so. So this is another version of the airbrush, digital airbrush. So we're going to start out with a text. I'm just going to put my name. Now, um, this pixeler.com has its own fonts. I brought a couple fonts in to work with. So, if you want to bring your own fonts in, please go YouTube how to import your own fonts into pixeler.com. I have videos also on how to do it, but it's for um, nameplate jewelry. So, if you want to find that those videos that I have, you can, or just just go to YouTube and find how to import your own fonts into Pixlr. Okay, so I'm gonna you can make your name any color. I'm just gonna do black, so everything can be seen. And when you bring when you start this text layer, you wanna um make sure you have everything spelled right and have it the color size you want and you could always go back and change the color and the size but make sure you have it spelled correctly and the spacing between the letters you want so once you get that then we're going to raster this layer so it's like turning it into an image layer and if you've watched any of my videos you know that I hate those large bounding boxes. And since I'm I'm learning this program, I just started learning this program so I could help people do a few design things. I don't know everything about it either. So I do what I can. But I don't know how to change this bounding box situation. And I haven't taken the time to try to f figure it out. So I just cut and paste. So I don't have that big box. And just delete the layers I'm not using. Just delete. Okay, now that you have your um your name, what you want to do is add a filter, a bevel filter. So you hit filter and go to bevel. And you can play around with this. Get it. You can move this. Get it to the lighting you want. You can get it to the depth you want, the elevation, size, the highlight, color. You could change that. You could put red in there. But you want to make sure it's a light color so it shows up. So for me, I'm just going to go with white for now. And you can play around with this until you get it to look how you want it to look. So that's totally up to you. Totally up to you guys. So I'm just going to leave it there. I got the angle at 25, elevation 30, 14 pixels, 96%, 96%, 35%. That's what I have. And I'm going to apply it. Okay, now with that done, I'm going to make a duplicate of that layer. And for the duplicate, I'm going to bring it to the back. And then I'm going to add a stroke. And I'm going to make that about eight pixels or so actually I'm not going to add a stroke I'm going to feel it 
Let me edit and then fill. I'm going to fill it with a color. Let's go with this bright yellow color. You can use any color you want. I'm just going to try to use bright colors so you can see what I'm doing. apply okay and then I'm going to move that to the back and then I'm going to just take my arrow keys and I'm going to move it down some and to the left and that's it for that and I'm going to take and click back on the top layer and I'm going to make another duplicate of that layer and for that then I'll add a I could add a shadow and then uh, or a stroke. It's called different things and different. It's outline, stroke, shadow. So let's add a yes. I'll do pink. And if you move it, you, it if you give you, it'll give you different looks. So you can play around with it. Do whatever you want to. You don't have to do exactly like I'm doing. Just do whatever you think looks good to you so I'm going to leave that like that so pretty much our name everything is done now we want to get into some designing you can go on and add a color back there so you can see what you are doing I think that's what I'll do so you can see what I'm doing but you can always go back and change it later so for now I'm going to add let me add this color here. So I'm going to grab the paintbrush over here. And to add a different color, you can just click in here, click OK. Now that color is selected, and then choose the paintbrush you're going to use. So I'm going to go with 400, and then I'm just going to paint something in. Just so I can see. Now I'm going to create an empty layer again. Got my empty layer. Now we're going to go in and add some light and stars and the good stuff. So let's choose. Um, let's 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 do some white first. When you go in. You can choose any stars you want any of these stars you want you can choose whatever however you want it so i want to use this and i want to have it pretty big and if you click them if you stay in place and like double click or click multiple times it'll make that star darker for you if you just click once it's, it's light Okay, now you want to make another layer, empty layer. Let's try to make an empty layer every time you want to add elements. That way you want, if you if you do this and you love it, you like it, and then you go over here and click this paintbrush and you start doing other stuff and then you mess up, then you'll have to do this all over again. So let's just add um, an empty layer every time we want to add elements. So let's do that and let's switch over to the pink and maybe we want some pink stars. You don't have to do all airbrush. You can do solid stars as well. But if you like the airbrush look, then stick with that. And you can put these where you want them. as many as you want it's all up to you now let's create another layer empty layer and let's do go back to some white stars and this time we're going to put them on the name
Oh, I'm behind. I'm behind, so I need to bring that layer to the front so we can see it. I don't want those stars, so let's. I'm going Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'm step all the way back, so I don't want that star. Let me try a different one. Yes, I'll take this one. Perfect. I'll just click some where you think they look good at, or wherever you like them at. Totally up to you. Again. Okay. Say so like say so you like that. That looks good. Let's move on to the next phase. So we add another layer. Oh, I moved that one down. So let's add another empty layer. And let's do some some white um dots into the colored stars we have. So let me make that a little bit smaller. Okay. And just go in and add these to the pink stars. All right. Now you can go on. Um, hold on. Let me go grab it real quick. I don't want to run all our time out, so let me pause. Okay, so I went on Google and found and uh, typed in swirl clip art. So I found something I wanted to use. It's not exact, but I just copied it. And now I'm just going to paste it in here. So I'm gonna take my magic wand. Click on all the white areas. And then just delete. Control D to deselect. And I'm just going to fill them with black because I can see some little white specks. Um, around the edges so just gonna fill it all with black and I'm going to separate them so cut edit paste okay and then you just move them where you want them to go Size them how you would like. Once you get it to something you like, If I can transform this, transform, flip horizontal. So I might like this way better. If I can get it to cooperate. Nah, but either way, you get you get the gist. Get it to um how you want it, and then I'm gonna pause because the 15 minute mark is near, and then we'll move on to the next step. And we're back. So I just I just move these around again. So I think what I'm going to do, if you I want to merge them two together. In order to do that, I need to turn everything else off so 
so now I can come up to layer and merge visible and it will merge those two as one and again that big bounding box is around it so I'm just gonna cut cut edit paste yes, of course it's gonna move it I'm gonna delete that empty layer and then I'm gonna cut this all this back on okay now let me move that back back where I want it okay and I'm gonna move it to the back and I'm going to duplicate layer duplicate and I'm going to make fill the duplicate with white or maybe pink now let's fill it with pink apply pull that to the back use your um directional um, keys your down key I'm gonna pull it down some and to the left some okay now if you're happy with it you can keep going you can add as many elements as you want whatever you want to do it is all up to you I think with the pink I'm going to filter details and I'm gonna Gaussian blur that that pink there and I'm going to go up to the yellow and I'm gonna give that a little Gaussian blur as well and then the pink layer I'm gonna um, do the same thing Gaussian blur it just makes it look more um, airbrush realistic I might even give the black um, swirls a little blur as well just a little apply so now if you have it and you like that you, you can leave it at that and carry on um, but the background I don't think I want to use that background so I'm going to make an empty layer and then I'm going to choose a color maybe yellow since that yellow is there or maybe I want two colors that that's up to you let's do two let's do the yellow and the pink so let's get on a, um, a airbrushed um, use an airbrush brush and let's make it the size you want it's all up to you and let's go in here and choose a yellow color let me pull that yellow out of there and I'm gonna go one step darker and maybe I, that's too big so pull that down some and just put in your yellow make another layer and let's grab some of that pink first before we put that pink in let's make our brush smaller and now let's go in and put some of that pink in So we can move that to the back. Maybe mm, I think yeah, because I don't want all that pink up there. Yeah, we can move that to the back, and maybe we just delete this yellow layer and come back in and redo it. 
so so more of the pink and yellow you know the pink can shine through so let me make it empty layer let's go in here and get some of this yellow okay and now we increase this just a bit and now try to fit in some of that yellow to the empty spaces so some of the pink can shine through as well remember this is all your design it's all up to you so let's let's resize this so maybe you want to come down Okay, so so you have it how you want it. You can let me unlock it. I think it's it's a lock. Let's do free. See all this other stuff is when you click over it. Okay, now I think I got it for free. I don't know, see it's changing something up. Make sure you're on the right layer before you start moving stuff around. So I'm just resizing it. Making it a little taller is all. I'm going to do the pink layer as well. Just make sure it's on free so you can freely edit it. Or change the size let me lock this if you want to lock if they're in your way and you just like look I can't get to it just you can click on that layer and click um, the three little dots over here and then you can click lock and it will lock it that way you can work with moving around with what you need to move around Okay, I think I'll add some more of that pink over over in here a little bit. So you can click the um, color picker and click right on that pink and then go right back to your brush and just add some more over where you need to add it at. Try to make sure all behind the uh, name, though, is colored in. You don't have to worry about this over here, but if you want to, you can. It's up to you. So, this we lost this star over here. So, what we can do is click on, because you see this dot here. We can lock this layer. Click this. Get our color picker, select some yellow, grab our brush, and just Did I grab the brush or was I still on oh, wrong brush? Grab the brush and just color it so you can get that star back. Okay, now if everything's how you like it, I see this star was lost too. If your colors um, blend where you can't see your stars, you can change it. You can always change it. That's up to you. You could um, click on what you want to change as far as your background goes. And you could fill it in with another color. You can do, do this how you like. It's up to you. So now that that's done, you can add some stars on your uh, swirls as well. So if you want to add some stars on the swirls, just you know, just go up in your brushes, choose the one you want. Let's 
make it on white. Just add you some stars onto it. Wherever you like. And then you know file, save, you named it when you came in. If you watched the other video, you name this when you come in. If you want to keep it on that name, you can. If you want to make it the name that you're working on, like for mine is Arkesha. So if I wanted to leave it that, I mean make it that name, I could. And you want to save it as a PNG. Save it to your desktop. And you can also save it as a pixel or file if you want to. You can come back and edit it. So you hit save and PXZ and download. If you didn't want to use those colors back there, you're going to do something different somewhere else in another program. You can do that as well. You can leave it just like that. It's totally up to you. If, let's say, let's say you make this and you really like it, so you, you might want to use that same design for another name. Well, you can save it as the pixel or file. So when you come back in here, you just turn the name you were working with, turn that name off. And now you can come in here, remember where these layers are, and just put a new name. You already have to have it designed. Now, if you save this as a PNG and you already have it designed, then you try to put a new name. Your name won't go in the layers. Your, the name will be, everything will be on top of the name or the name will be on top of it. So if you save it as this um, Pixlr, file PXZ then you can come in just take these names then this name out and just put a new name in just simply put a new name in I hope this helps and let me say before I go you know different Different fonts will give you different looks. So you could use a thin font, a slimmer font. So this um, this bevel will look a little different on a thin font. You can use thick fonts. You can use whatever font you want to use. So just keep that in mind. Different fonts will render different results. Okay, guys, I hope this helps.